Hello, my name is Janet LaRoche. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator with Stamping Up. And I wanted to make this card for you today. It's from the new um, Stamping Up set in their holiday catalog called Painted Harvest. I think it's just a beautiful stamp set. And this is the stamp set. It's got beautiful sayings on it and two-step stamping, the sunflower and the leaves and a little acorn even. Um, so today we'll be needing a piece of cardstock. It measures eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored at four and one quarter. Then we will need these stamp pads. We'll have Daffodil Delight and Berry Burst for the flower. Oh, and the center of the flower we're going to use Tip Top Taupe and Early Espresso. And for the leaves we're using Old Olive. I'll put those right there. Maybe? <laughs> okay, um, the stamp set in the catalog will come as just the stamp set or the bundle which includes the leaf punch but there's a lot of accessories too it has beautiful paper and ribbon and little embellishments it's a beautiful set and you can do um, lots of things with it there's so many combinations you can um, create with these colors and we're also going to be using um, the pretty label punch which is this one so you will need an extra piece of uh, cardstock for the label for this little label you'll need this a little strip like um, between a quarter of an inch and half an inch wide and four and a quarter inches um, You'll need some Stampin' Dimensionals to put your sentiment on. You'll also need, this is a sunflower I stamped and cut out to we call it masking and you'll put it over your flower to stamp your leaves. So it looks like they're underneath the flower and not on top of the flower. Um, oops, I forgot a little piece of cardstock. Uh, we can use this. We'll just use that to cut out the, the sentiment. I also wanted to show you these. These are just some little bookmarks I made with different combinations for flowers. And I wrote on the back what the colors I used were. I just made ones that I liked. and But there's... A zillion more combinations. I haven't got the ribbon on some of them or it's coming off but I just made those to help me and I keep them in with my stamp set so I'll have them so I know what colors to use. So let's get started. Okay we will need your card and it's folded in half and scored I've already done that. Um, oops. Now I need a stamping block and the first flower. Oh, I wanted to show you the, the set. I have used it and used it and used it since I got it. And I'm a relatively new um, stamping up demonstrator. I only joined um, July 30th of 2017. But since I got this, I ordered it with my kit. I've used it constantly. And this, the reds stain the photopolymer, but it doesn't affect your stamping, what, none whatsoever. So it works beautifully. So I just wanted to point that out because my stamps are like pink. <laughs> so now we're going to use the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to, I have a little mark on here just so I know that's the long piece. It doesn't really matter on this card, but some I like to have it so that I know exactly where it is. 
just stamp it up and stamp like up in the left and hold it there for a few seconds now remember this is a watercolor so it doesn't always stamp like you'd think it'd be as a full image but when you stamp the one on top you would never know it's supposed to look like this and I'll put the second one there and then I'll put a third one here okay I'll do and I'll clean my stamp off later just put it aside right now and then I'll take the inner one the second one and oh did it in yellow oh now I have to clean that off oops hold on just one second my goodness at my other table now okay now we need berry burst put my daffodil away and open the berry burst oh and this is just my little um my um a stamping nana nana i have a facebook page and that is my website a stamping nana.com i also have a blog and this card is on my blog already this is my very first video so let's see how it goes so you just sort of um look in the middle and stamp down just right on top of the yellow daffodil yellow delight or daffodil delight now isn't that pretty oh and the cardstock we're using is the uh, very vanilla thick cardstock and it's beautiful for a one layer card where you don't have a, a bunch of layers and it stands up nice and then this one about there okay so that's those and I will clean that one off in a second okay now we will do the leaves so what I use this for is I um, just put it over where I want to stamp to mostly cover the area where I'm going to stamp so it doesn't cover the you know the top of the flower Oops. my stamp pads upside down there we go. so now I need the old olive And what I did with this was, um, oh dear, I use my mat. I can always put a clean one on later. I'm taking the one with the details on it, not the the first layer where it's um just flat. And with this. I'm going to turn it because I like to stamp on an ink where I feel more comfortable. I stamp off and then I'm going to stamp my leaf about there. So just hold it there for a second and there's the leaf. Stamp it again and I'll stamp about there. Just so it has a little bit of green tint to it you don't have to have the whole leaves or anything see looks like it's underneath now i'll cover up this one and i will maybe oops it's upside down stamp off i'll just put the leaves off to the side here That's good and then I'll put it on here stamp off I've got more ink on my block and I moved it oops but it's still good um, let's turn you this way 
so we can get some green going here. There we go. That's good. It's supposed to look water like a watercolor, so it doesn't stamp fully. And I think that looks pretty. Okay, now for the center of the flower, we're going to use the tip top top. I'll clean that off in a minute. And we need the center. And just dab it in your ink and the center and in your ink in the center and in the center. How's that? I think it's pretty. Alright, now I'll do the little um, seed dot things that go in the, the very center. I'll do them in um, a darker brown, like an early espresso. It's a nice dark color. Just right there. Right there. And that's the one. Now, if you see my Mickey Mouse here, it's because I live in Florida. I just wanted to put him up there. He's my lucky charm. <laughs> so this paper we're going to um, attach to like the bottom or close to the bottom with um, snail adhesive. So I'll just put a little bit on. Doesn't matter which side. It's all the same. And we'll put it about there. Okay, now I'm going to do my sentiment first. And I'm going to um, use the sentiment, I'm thankful for you. And I just like to put it down on my paper. And then uh, oh, I can use this one. Forgot. a little bigger and pick it up and I'm going to stamp in Berry Burst this is one of the new in colors for 2017 2019 and I just think it's the prettiest color and I stamp about there I'm thankful for you Close up my stamp pad. This is such a quick and easy card. And if you wanted to make like a set to give away to somebody to use, you know, as a gift, it would take no time at all to just do six instead of one. So there's my um, sentiment. And I'm going to put that on some stamping dimensionals. I'll use three. Over, one, two, three. Take the paper off. Stuck to me. And then I'm going to put this on the left corner. And voila, there's your card. Um, you can. Um, if you want to put, like, your kindness means so much more than you will ever know, you could stamp that on the inside for a sentiment, or you could leave it blank and just fill it all out. But that is my video for today, my very first one, and hopefully it won't be my last. And hopefully I'll improve, because I know I've messed up quite a bit. But um, if you do not have a, a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd appreciate it if you would consider me as a demonstrator and go to my website and you can order any of these uh, products from my website and also look up some other cards and stuff I have started putting on my blog. Please subscribe and um, 
anytime I upload anything you'll get a notice and you'll be able to watch some more of my videos and see me grow. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great evening. Bye-bye.